What's up, guys? How are y'all doing today? I got me and the one and only. Jeff Daniels. How you guys doing? So, uh, there's been some talk in the uh, news here lately about uh, people with good credit scores getting punished and having to pay for yep. uh, people with bad credit scores. But you said something earlier when we were talking that uh, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac came out with that at the beginning of the year and said, hey, this was coming down the pipe. Yeah, so, yeah, sure was. So, uh, well, first off, let me address the orange. You know, we, we did have a top 10 pick, go balls. Uh, yeah, Florida got the number four pick. No, 14th pick. No, 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 Who? Florida. Anthony Richards. Yeah, he didn't go before. Yeah, yeah, he went number four to the oh, Colts. Oh, yeah, he went to the Colts. Well, yeah, uh, see, yeah. Don't, don't come parking. <laughs> but, oh, uh, okay, anyway, so yeah, so <laughs> I just killed that. Off. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the sad thing is, I sat there and watched it. I know, I know. The, whole, the whole first round. Uh, shows how much I care about Florida. But anyway, <laughs> we'll, we'll just move on. Uh, so, yeah, so Fannie and Freddie announced it in January that. May 1st was going to be what they call loan level pricing adjustments. And when they first came out with it, they talked about the debt to income ratio was going to be a loan level pricing adjustment over 43%. Yep. Now, keep in mind, Fannie and Freddie will allow with the automated approval up to 50%. That's correct. So, <clears throat> so yeah, all the lenders knew that it was out there and coming. Some prepped for it, some didn't. Um, but now that it's hit social media, it's hit on the news, now it's it's really coming to shine, talking about the uh, credit score as well. So, But what I wanna to bring to you guys' attention today is a new down payment assistance program that we're rolling out next week, which is a second mortgage. Okay, so it's similar to THDA. Right, The here's, here's a couple of things that that this program offers a THDA doesn't. One, it goes down to 600 credit score. All right. THDA is so what? 640. 640. The max DTI for THDA is? 42? 45. 45, okay. This program I can go up to 55. So that's a 10% different in DTI. That's a three to four, five hundred dollar more in payment. Payment, yep. Right? So the, just another opportunity for consumers that have uh, low credit scores, right? Below the 640 to do THDA, you now can, I can offer a down payment assistance that's three and a half percent of the sales price or appraised value. All right. You can use that for your down payment, closing cost, down payment and closing cost, depending on the, the, you know, the appraised value or the sale price of the home. So another, another avenue, another way that we can help consumers get into a home without having to have a tremendous amount of money out of pocket. So in that program, it's 100%? It is, well, it's always 100% because FHA is requires 3.5%. Down, okay. Right? So FHA requires a 3.5% minimum investment. Okay. Then you can use alternative funding Indeed. sources to get to the 100%. That's where okay. the down payment comes from. All right, there we right? go. So it's a, at the end of the day, it's 100. percent You may not have to come out with any money. You may have to come with a little. It just depends on how the numbers right. are. Right. But uh, and even then, we can still ask uh, you know the seller to throw in towards the closing cost. So I mean, there's still ways to make that work right. and it not be completely out of your pocket. Correct. Uh, you know, similar to what happens with THDA and USDA from time to time, we still ask you know, hey, can you throw towards the closing cost? Right. So so, so the the. The ideal of this is to be able to offer more consumers more options, right? So what a good lender will do is review all your options with you, right? Now, if you have a 640, 660, 670, right. I don't know that you may want to use this program where we could possibly use THDA, which THDA is going to give you a better rate. That's correct. Right? But then we got to look at the DTI. Right. I mean, you got to sit down and figure out which loan program works for the client. Correct. Well, Not which client works for the loan program. Correct. Because you got, you know, I mean, you got the National Housing Fund out there. You That's got correct. Shinoa Fund. Yeah. So there's there's a lot. Hey, of I think programs. even Rutherford County or Murfreesboro does money towards some houses. Yeah, they have a uh, 
you know, the city of Murfreesboro offers up to 10,000. Yeah, but um, you, uh, from what I understand, that list is short and it goes quick and they're done with that, like mm -hmm. all the funding by April or May. Like if you ain't been on that list quick, you're, you're already as yeah, well. There's a lot of criteria that you have to meet. You know, which is with any down payment assistance program, there's a lot of criteria, a lot of things you've got to, that you've got to meet. This program is the most re relaxed program because you don't have the low DTI or you don't have the low, you know, the, the higher credit score right. coming transaction. So it's just another opportunity for somewhere to get into a house with a low FICO, right? Down yep. to 600. And to have the opportunity to, to have one for down payment. That's program. right. So this is a new program that's just coming out on Tuesday. As far as I know, the uh, AMCAP mortgage is the only one that, that, is, that I know that has it at this moment. But um, but it's a great program. And it may work for y'all. Yeah, absolutely. Give, give him a call. Jeff Daniels, 615-779-8926. <laughs> hey, y'all know my number. It's Keith Poinkin. <laughs> hey, you guys have a great day. Reach out to me. Answer Let's any know. questions you may have. Thank you guys.